French are very well aware of the Muslims. They've taken our culture, they understand our culture, and because of that, they know how much we are a threat. They understand that when you submit your will to Allah Azza wa Jal, there's nothing that could stop you. But I want to thank you, French. I want to thank the French. I want to thank them and their bigot government. You know why? Because they've united the Muslims under one. Do you think everyone agrees with each other? Do you think they're all under the same madhab? Do you think that they are all in agreement with everything that they do? No. There's differences of opinion, but there's only one opinion that matters right now is that our Muslim lives matter. That's what matters the most right now. And the most important thing is Islamophobia needs to die out over there. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, guys. We are here in front of the French consulate at a protest against all the craziness that's been happening and the bigotry and everything that's been going down in France. We know what's happening in France. And you have to understand something, that this is systematic. This is not something new. This is not like a mistake. It's not a lack of education. The French are very well aware of the Muslims. They've taken our culture. They understand our culture. And because of that, they know how much we are a threat. They understand that when you submit your will to Allah Azza wa Jal, there's nothing that could stop you. You don't need the new iPhone 12. They know that. They know that when you become a Muslim and you love Allah Azza wa Jal, that you don't care about the dunya. You don't care about the capitalism. But guess what? That is a threat to them. They talk about feminism. What feminism when you're stopping our Muslim women and teaching them how they should dress? I thought that you shouldn't be allowed to do that. What happened to the democracy? What happened to the feminists standing up for the women? How should a man be able to tell the woman how to dress? You've banned the hijab in the school. You've banned the niqab. You're taking away people's religious freedoms and you're saying that is democracy? How so? That's not democracy. That's called hypocrisy. Instead, you have to understand that this is is a systematic oppression that's taking place against the Muslims. And this is not new. This has been happening for a while. Over a half a million, million and a half Muslims were beheaded, beheaded as trophies. They used to put the heads of the Muslims on the rocks to show that this is the trophies that we've done. They're proud of their Islamophobia and we need to dead that right now. But I want to thank you, French. I want to thank the French. I want to thank them and their bigot government. You know why? Because they've united the Muslims under one. Do you think everyone agrees with each other? Do you think they're all under the same madhab? Do you think that they are all in agreement with everything that they do? No, there's differences of opinion, but there's only one opinion that matters right now is that our Muslim lives matter. That's what matters the most right now. And the most important thing is Islamophobia needs to die out over there. And we need to do something about educating the average public, not the governments. They know what they're doing. I'm talking about the average public. Don't think the average French person is a bad person. It doesn't work that way. They're just ignorant, right? It's our job to give them that one to explain. I'm talking specifically about the government itself. So remember one thing right now, instead of us criticizing our French brothers and sisters, because there are Muslims in France as well too, struggling right now, we need to support them. We need to support them in every single way possible right now. And we need to thank them because they've united us right now. We are in the rain right now. We're soaked, guys. SubhanAllah. We are soaked right now, but we still left our homes. We still left our homes, guys. It's never a problem. It's not a problem. We are here for you guys. And just remember something, guys. We need to unite and stay united as an ummah because that's how we're stronger. And they know we're weaker when we're disunited. Hence, we need to stay united. I appreciate you all, guys. Research and do more research about what's happening in France and the history of bigotry that they have. This is your boy SQ signing off. Until next time, I'm out.